Hi guys, in this video we're going to sort this unorganized data, in other words, this data which has no column headers or row headers, um, into one column, uh, and we can do it sorted ascendingly if we like. Okay? So, how do we do this? Well, first of all, let's see how many numbers we even have here. We could highlight all the numbers and do a quick spot check over here and you see the count is 25. You could also use the count function to say how many values are in this matrix or data frame, okay? And what we basically want to do is just sort this ascendingly smallest to largest in one column. So why don't we set up a column one to twenty five and here we'll call this sorted ascending values how about that okay we'll use the small function okay the data we're looking at is all here comma h2 will give us the rank that we're looking for if you don't know how to use a small function please watch my video on large and small functions they're quite useful functions okay here the data that we want to sort is b3 all the way to f7 the small function is going to go into this entire group of numbers this array of numbers and find the smallest number, particularly the first smallest, because we fed the second argument here as a reference with this row, H with this cell reference H2. So it's going to find the smallest number, which is 3, in fact. Yes. Okay? So that's equivalent to min. All right? Equals min would give us the same okay but min kind of stops there whereas small now we can get the second smallest because the second argument shifted down to this now actually we forgot to lock the table the original raw data in absolute references so that when we drag this formula down the table doesn't shift down as you just saw when we pulled the formula down okay now we're protected against that so let's pull down again and see yes now we see that the table is still the original data except now what we're looking for is the second argument here separated by a comma by the way in the small function is the second smallest number okay and then we repeat this all the way down until we have the 25th smallest number which is essentially the max okay and so we see that 25 is in fact the max 3 is in fact the min and that this is in fact ascendingly sorted of all these values now we can do descending as well okay so let's highlight what we're going to do here we're going to get in the same kind of format except basically flipped upside down right so what we can do is equals large the data array is the same exact data array hit f4 key on your keyboard and that will make that table absolute referenced which will lock it as we intend on dragging this formula down comma we want the largest number one meaning the largest number which is in fact 25 if we drag it down once we want the second largest number right and if we continue to drag this down we will get the smallest number which is the exact flip of this so this is descending 
Okay, so not, our, not only are we sorting this data ourselves, but we're dealing with data that's very unorganized. It's not in a single column. It's not in a single row. And we don't want to go through the work of transferring these into one column or row. So we can't use the sort functionalities readily. We have to come up with a little more innovative way of doing this. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. This was a video in the series of using the large and small functions um, to do all kinds of different things, sorting, averaging, summing, and so on. So I hope this was helpful. Make sure to click subscribe, like, comment, and check out all the other tutorial videos I have on my channel. I have over 200 uh, related videos. All right, till next time, have a great day.